Hey you guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be adding mixed numbers still in the same standard 4.nf.3c. And we're going to be using the number bond strategy, the number line strategy, and you're also going to hear me using words like like terms and like units, so do not be alarmed. We're familiar with number bond strategy from our previous lesson. Let's get right into today's lesson. So in our first problem, I have 2 and 4 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths. Just like in our previous lesson, I want to make sure that I am color coding the different parts of my mixed number. So I have two holes and four eighths plus one hole and five eighths. Now that I've color coded the different parts of my mixed number, it's time for us to add. Let's start with our whole numbers first because they're at the beginning of our mixed number. So I'm adding two plus one, which we already know is three. And now I can focus on my mixed number, my whole, I'm sorry, my fractions because I've already added my whole numbers. So I'm focusing on four eighths plus five eighths. If you said four eighths plus five eighths equals nine eighths, you are absolutely correct. So now I have three and nine eighths. You guys, I'm not done, and I'm sure you know I'm not done because my numerator is greater than my denominator. So I have to use my number bond strategy to decompose my fraction. When I use my number bond strategy, you guys, I have 8 eighths, which leaves me with 1 eighth on the other side. I know that 8 eighths is just the same thing as saying one whole. So really, 3 and 9 eighths is just 3 plus 1 plus 1 eighth. 3 plus 1 plus 1 eighth. Still, I have like terms that I can combine. Do you see the like terms that I can combine? If you said I can combine 3 and 1, you are absolutely correct. I get 4 and 1 eighth. So 2 and 4 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths is 4 and 1 eighth. Let's do the same problem using a number line. So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm color coding just like I did in the previous problem. Two holes and 4 eighths plus 1 hole and 5 eighths. And I'm going to determine where I'm going to start on my number line. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to focus on my whole numbers. So I'm focusing on 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. I've now used my whole numbers, so we can go ahead and cross them out. Now I'm focusing on 4 eighths plus 5 eighths. So that means that I need to... Make sure that I'm breaking or decomposing my holes into eighths so that I'm able to jump across my number line. So, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then that four holes represents eight eighths. Let's do the same thing between four and five. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths, and one more time, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths. Now I'm able to actually move 4 eighths. So I'm here, let's jump 4 eighths, 1, 2, 3, 4. However, I'm not done. I still have to jump an additional 5 eighths. So let's jump again. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths. That lands me at 4, 4 holes, and 1 eighth. 
So 2 and 4 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths equals 4 wholes and 5 eighths and 1 eighth. You'll notice that we got the same answer using the number bond strategy as we did using the number line strategy. Let's move on to our next problem to, to do the same strategies again. So in this problem, I have 2 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths. And I already know that I need to color code my mixed numbers. So my green is going to represent my whole numbers, my pink representing my fractions. So I have 2 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths. I know, scholars, that I'm going to combine like terms. And I know I'm starting with my whole numbers. So if you said I'm adding 2 and 2, you are absolutely correct. I get 4 wholes. Now let's focus on my fractions. 2 fifths plus 4 fifths equals 6 fifths. So now I have 4 and 6 fifths which cannot be my final answer because look at that. That numerator is greater than my denominator. So I need to use my number bond strategy to decompose. What's going to go on my left? What's going to go on my right? You're right, 5 fifths and 1 fifth. And you guys, we already know that 5 fifths is the same thing as 1 whole. So let's go ahead and cross out 5 fifths and put one whole. And now we know that really, instead of 4 and 6 fifths, the equation really is 4 wholes plus 1 whole plus 1 fifth. 4 wholes plus 1 whole equals 5 wholes. And then there's no, there's no other like term or like unit to combine to 1 fifth. So I'm just bringing down 1 fifth and I get 5 and 1 fifth. So 2 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths equals 5 and 1 fifth. Let's do the same problem using the number line strategy. So same as before, I'm color coding 2 wholes plus 2 fifths plus 2 wholes and 4 fifths. Do you remember which one of these numbers I'm starting with? Am I going to start with my whole numbers or my fractions? If you said whole numbers, you are on a roll. I'm starting with my whole numbers. So I'm adding 2 plus 2, which equals 4. So this is my starting point, you guys. Now, Cross them out. We're done with our holes. Let's move on to our fractions. Now I need to add two fifths and four fifths. However, I can't do that without decomposing my whole numbers into fifths. So let's go ahead and do that. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. 5 fifths. So now I'm able to jump 2 fifths. 1 fifth, 2 fifths. I still have 4 fifths. I need to jump an additional 4 fifths. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths. And I know that my endpoint is at five and one fifth. So two and two fifths plus two and four fifths equals five and one fifth. You'll notice, you guys, we got the same answer using the number line as we got using our number bond strategy. So with this last problem, I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil and I want you to solve. 
I want you to solve this using two, to the two different strategies we learned. The number bond and the number line. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment your favorite strategy, like the video, and as always, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.